to review the water resource strategy by 2012. And clearly, we must focus also on reducing demand in both urban and rural areas. Transport and logistics, it's the stuff about the freight corridor. Support for the idea that we, we uh, developed the dugout port at the old uh, Durban airport site. Uh, you know, improving the commuter rail fleet is, 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 is par for the course. I don't like the fact that we've only got one bullet point on, on ICT, but it's fundamentally important. It has to, we've recognized that this is a driver of change and we need to clearly do a lot more work in this area. The transition to a low carbon economy, uh, fundamentally important as well. Um, and, and I think the broad message is that we aren't doing enough as a country. Now there's a, the second bullet is a strong bullet. It's a carbon tax bullet and, uh, you know, I think we're all moved by the fact that the Aussies have beaten us at this thing. Last week, uh, the Senate passed $24 a ton. We don't like to be beaten by the Aussies at anything, so perhaps we need to overtake them quite soon. But clearly, uh, we need to scale up uh, in R&D and we need to develop the incentives. Municipalities need to be brought into play. And it's interesting to see the approach that China's taken on its 12 five-year plan to get uh, uh, states and, 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 and uh, municipalities to reduce demand and to incentivize their behavior. The space issue is fundamentally important in planning everywhere. And so part of it is, is also going back to that paradigm. It's not just doling out more and more RTP houses. It's, it's taking a very different approach. Community housing, social housing has to be a fundamentally important part, but also that gap between people who have access to free state housing and people who access the market. This is one of the big uh, problems in the South African housing market at the moment. Uh, and that would need to change. The public transport infrastructure is actually a big section, big section in the plan. A lot, a lot of work needs to be done to ensure that we can change this. Uh, and then incentives. People don't always have to move from where they live to where they need to work. It doesn't have to be a 50-kilometer journey. Why don't we invert some of the thinking and the logic about this and reconstruct logistics change? Resources to upgrade informal settlements. Not all of the houses are going to fall from the sky immediately. I think that there's a big movement across the world uh, uh, about the upgrade of informal settlements. This fragmented spatial planning, I mean, in the detailed document you will find the spatial plan. It's a, it's a, it's a histogram of concentrations uh, across uh, the Gauteng region and you begin to see just how bad planning is how far the poor live from where they, they work, uh, and, and, and just how, how nothing quite works as they should. Our cities are very poorly planned, very poorly functioning, and, and there needs to be very significant intervention in this area. Uh, and then, as part of the space issue, security of tenure, especially for women in rural areas, is part of it. Uh, there's a pretty detailed chapter on the rural economy uh, telling you what kind of crops in which areas, where there's opportunity for new irrigation, et cetera, et cetera. The education uh, 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 chapter is very detailed because it is one of the priorities along with jobs. Um, some of the, I mean, in broad terms, I think most people are quite happy with this, uh, but there are some people who'd be a bit concerned about the boldness of the commission in suggesting that you must take unions out of the process where principals and, and uh, uh, departmental officials are appointed because you need to change the lines of accountability. Uh, I don't know if the Eastern Cape Education Department is on strike this week, but it kind of shouts, it lights up this, this bullet point uh, uh, differently. And then, uh, you know, unless we can intervene in the short term in the teaching of quantitative skills, we're going to lag on every other area. And so recruiting teachers to be able to fill the gap is going to be fundamentally important in this regard. The schooling issue, I mean, there's a very strong proposal that 
cognitive development starts long before uh, uh, children go to school. And so we have to look at nutrition and micro, micronutrition uh, with babies and so on to try and get uh, parents through and also ensure that uh, uh, there's at least two years of preschool education. The next bit is about uh, expansion of, of FET colleges uh, producing 30,000 artisans a year. Um, also increasing on the retention rates, increasing university uh, science and maths grads, and then 100 PhD grads per million uh, population. That requires about a five-fold increase. I don't know what we're going to do with so many PhDs, but it's a nice idea. And then uh, a proposal that we grant uh, work permits to non-South Africans who've studied uh, uh, at our universities here. Yeah. 